Okay, so today I'm making jambalaya. I thought I would record how that goes and maybe explain what I'm doing a little bit on, on the way. I'm not that good of a cook, but it's a pretty good dish. First step is to heat one tablespoon of oil. The recipe calls for vegetable oil, but we didn't have any, so I use some olive oil, which I think is supposed to be healthier anyways. I don't know if it'll cook any different because of that. The recipe calls for anadouille sausage. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I assume it's some kind of a Cajun, Louisiana style sausage that's spicy. And uh, Walmart doesn't carry that, and I don't know if anywhere that does. Um, so I buy this kind, Italian sausage, but I get the hot kind, make sure it's good and spicy. And we're gonna add it to the oil um, and cook it whole. And then we'll, we'll cut it up into pieces after it's done cooking. I'm flipping over the sausage now, cooking it over medium heat. See all the grease that's in there from the sausage. And while that's cooking, I am cutting up the chicken into, I think, one inch cubes. I'm trying my best to do those dimensions. And I try to, I like to have it brown equally on all sides. So I try to stack them so they'll cook on a certain side. Um, but they're getting pretty close to being done. In the meantime, I uh, chopped some celery. That's fun because that's easy. I hate chopping vegetables. I'm about to do the bell pepper next. And then um, my least favorite is going to be the onion. I have a special tool for that. I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. All right, I think the sausage is about done. In fact, it's kind of getting a little smoky in here. I had to crack the window open. Um, I'll have to take those off here in just a minute and then add the vegetables. I'm just about to chop the onions. So you, you place some onions in here. Uh, that might be too much, so let's uh, chop it in half. Get this and then, oh, that might not be too much. There we go. And um, you put this on top. Oh, man, the onions are already getting to me. Um, and, uh, and then you just basically slap the top of it vigorously until uh, the onions inside are all minced up or chopped up. The blade in there rotates around each time you hit it, so you're going to chop it at different angles, and um, that's how it comes out. And uh, the more vigorously you slap it, the more chopped it gets, the longer you slap it, the more chopped it gets gets so um, you have to experiment to figure out you know when it when to stop to get the desired amount of uh, chopping that you want not as finely minced as the first batch it's all for flavor anyways I don't like having big chunks of onion in my uh, jambalaya put that in there oh look go. Alright. I really don't like standing here chopping onions. I'm glad this is almost over. I'm already starting to cry. Alright, onions are done. Okay, so we chopped up all the vegetables. We got onions, bell peppers, and celery in this bowl. And so you leave the grease from the sausage in the pan and you cook the vegetables in that grease. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. You also at this time add the garlic. We buy this kind of uh, already minced garlic. It smells good and fresh. Two cloves, which will be one full, oops, <laughs> one full teaspoon. <laughs> we'll get a good garlic flavor in there by dumping the juice in. Uh, while that cooks, the directions say about five minutes. You just want the vegetables to soften. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the sausage into bite-sized pieces. All right. So this is what it looks like once you mix it in. I also am taking, uh, doing a little bit of an experiment. I'm going to add some okra to this jambalaya I'm making because I really like it and I just think it'll taste good in there. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's frozen, so it probably should have been thawed before I added it in here, but hopefully it'll cook okay. Okay, so evidently these were supposed to be covered while they were cooking, I guess, to make sure they get good and soft. So my five minutes is coming up. I'm probably going to cook it for a couple more minutes. 
And in the meantime, I already uh, chopped up the sausages. Um, all right, so I guess this is soft enough for the vegetables. Um, next, we're gonna add chicken broth. And uh, I went to the store and I accidentally bought beef broth. Um, which I don't think would taste good in there. Thankfully, my wife had some uh, chicken broth already in the fridge. So quite a lot. This is two cups. It asks for three, and sometimes it's pretty salty. Um, it asks you to get the low sodium kind, however. I'm just gonna add two cups and then maybe one cup of water to have the right amount of liquid in there without too much chicken broth. Plus, that's about all I had anyways of chicken broth. All right. So another cup of water. We'll add back in the sausage, the cooked sausage. So you need a pretty big skillet or pot for all this to fit. All right, so we need cayenne pepper, just one quarter teaspoon of this powerful stuff. I'm still got my eyes watering from the onion. But chopped earlier. It's one quarter teaspoon. Just kind of spread that around a little bit. Um, bay leaves. This is one of my favorite things to add to this dish. It's kind of neat just putting leaves in your food. It asks for two bay leaves. So there's one, and two. Make sure you don't eat those later when you're eating the food. Those smell really good. Just kind of stir that in there and we want to add the rice. Okay, so the rice has been added, all the ingredients are in here except for the chicken. And so we're supposed to bring this to a boil, reduce heat to low, cover and simmer for 15 minutes, and then we'll stir in the chicken after that, and then we cover and simmer until the chicken is done. All right, we got it to a boil. So now we will cover it this time and we'll forget set the timer for 15 minutes and check on it every few minutes or so. I wish you could smell how this smells right now. It's, it smells really good. And I'm still, my nose is still running from the onions. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay, the rice wasn't quite cooked all the way. I took a little bite of it and some of it was still kind of hard. So I added in another cup of water, but I didn't want the chicken so any longer, so I went ahead and added the chicken too. And according to the recipe, it should only take about five minutes. Something I recommend having with this dish is sweet tea, uh, which is different than sweetened iced tea. Um, and the way I make the sweet tea is I use this tea maker that you can buy at Walmart. And I added the water in up to the full line. And then I'll put the tea in here, of course. But what you do, instead of putting ice in here, for it to pour into, you put sugar. And about a cup will do, if you're doing three quarts of iced tea, one cup of sugar makes it plenty sweet. All right, so we got the sugar in the pitcher, and we got the tea bag in the tea maker. And so you just close it, make sure it's plugged in, just hit the start button, and let it pour into the sugar. And again, don't forget to mix the tea with the sugar before you add the ice. So if you add the ice and then try to mix the sugar, it doesn't come out the same. All right, so I think it's done. The rice is soft and ready to eat and smells good. And we got the sweet tea almost ready. It looks like, um, so again, we got the hot liquid in there. Uh, so usually I try to tilt out any remaining liquid that might be in there pop this thing up and so it can air out. And again, before you add the ice to cool it off, make sure you stir it so the sugar and the hot tea is mixed together. Sorry about the uh, focus. Leave the spoon in there because it's good to mix the ice in with the tea too. And it makes a really good sweet tea, southern style, almost southern style, just not sun-kissed. And uh, so that's, how you make jambalaya.